here's another view of the spacewalk preparations. Uh, this view looking uh, in from uh, the Unity module into the equipment lock where the two spacewalkers uh, sit on uh, either wall. Still connected up to uh, the uh, space station's uh, power systems. Greg uh, Shamatov uh, in the back there in the crew lock, uh, getting things all shaped up and ready for the two spacewalkers to enter in and begin final preparations for their exit into space. Currently watching uh, the helmet camera of uh, spacewalker Heidi Stefanishin Piper. You can tell that by the uh, 16 in the lower right-hand corner of the picture. Spacewalker Heidi Stefanishin Piper carefully uh, managing her tethers as she uh, gets the go-ahead to uh, exit the airlock of the International Space Station. Safer handles, okay. Safer handles, deploy handles down. And my manual isolation belt is down. Copy that, Heidi. Both safer handles are down. You'll next get the crew lock back from Steve. Okay. It's coming down. Again, the official start of today's spacewalk at 12.09 p.m. Central Time. About 40 minutes prior, uh, earlier than had been originally planned. This is Mission Control Houston. All systems going well as uh, Heidi Stefanishin Piper and Steve Bowen uh, begin the process of getting outside the Quest airlock module, getting set up for the uh, initial task of the spacewalk, which will be to uh, remove a nitrogen tank assembly that's been placed on external storage platform number three and pre-positioned for the spacewalk. A good look at uh, Heidi Stefanishin Piper in the spacesuit with the red stripes uh, near the end of the space station's robotic arm, Canadarm2, and external stowage platform number three, where that nitrogen tank assembly rests that's going to be replaced on this spacewalk. Heidi, make sure the tether point is towards the end effector. Yep. And I think that's good. You can stop motion. Hey, motion stops. Slim in the South Pacific in view as uh, robotic arm operator Don Pettit continues to move Heidi Stefanishin Piper away from the This nitrogen tank assembly removal 
and delivery to the space station's uh, cargo carrier in the payload bay, uh, the first major task of this EVA. Here's a view of uh, Heidi Stefanischen Piper's uh, angle on the activity as she uses that uh, cordless drill to drive home some bolts that will uh, secure the nitrogen tank assembly to the uh, carrier structure. They had just a little bit of difficulty with the attachment mechanism uh, to the cargo carrier and the payload bay, but overcame that and are now in the process of moving uh, back up to external storage platform three, where they will uh, position this uh, flex hose rotary coupler uh, for future use on the station. This is a view from uh, Stephanie Piper's helmet camera as she uh, prepares uh, tools and equipment for the upcoming Solar Alpha Rotary Joint cleaning and maintenance. There are uh, two of these Solar Alpha Rotary Joints on the International Space Station. Uh, they connect the uh, port three and port four left side truss segments and the starboard three and starboard four right side segments and allow the solar arrays to rotate and track the sun. And I want to go ahead and uh, take Steve's fish stringer and uh, put it over on phase two for him. This is Mr. Control Houston with a view from Heidi Stephanishan Piper's uh, helmet camera. She reported down to the ground that uh, she was accessing a large orbital replacement unit bag. Uh, one of the... Uh, for Heidi uh, getting uh, deployed in the bag. We uh, recommend using a dry wipe to clean up the camera. Okay, copy. Heidi, did you copy that? Yeah, I did. I'm cleaning my gloves here first. She reported that uh, one of the caulking guns uh, released some grease inside the bag and it got on her gloves and on some other equipment. She's uh, been instructed to use uh, one of the dry wipes uh, available to uh, clean that off of her gloves and, uh, and a camera system. Watching a downlink video from the helmet camera of Heidi Stephanishan Piper outside the International Space Station as uh, she resumes work with the Solar Alpha rotary joint uh, cleanup and uh, lubrication. Here's a look at uh, Heidi Stephanishan Piper and uh, her work to uh, clean up the race ring using uh, those wipes. 
can see the uh, lubricant uh, still on her gloves from uh, when that uh, lubricant ca canister uh, disgorged quite a bit of the uh, brake hood in, uh, material into the bag that uh, was then subsequently lost. Okay, Sam, I think I've cleaned it all up. Okay, how you can stow that uh, dry wipe in the trash bag? Okay, that's enough. Then we'll be ready to lube so you can get another dry wipe in the J-hook nozzle. Each uh, race ring has three different surfaces, and the crew members are going to try to provide lubrication on two of those surfaces. Uh, one surface is just a flat surface, easily accessible with a straight uh, nozzle caulk gun. Uh, the other one requires uh, a, a J-formed caulk gun to get behind the race ring so that they can apply the lubricant. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That is the J-gun that uh, Shane Kimbrough from inside the space station was referring to. This is a view from uh, Steve Bowen's camera as he uh, watches uh, Heidi Stephanish and Piper begin to work into getting that uh, lubrication gun with a J-shaped nozzle on it so she can begin lubricating the, uh, the canted or uh, slanted surface of the race ring. This particular view, taking a look at uh, Stephanie and Piper's uh, helmet camera. She is uh, putting back on one of the trundle bearing assembly covers that was removed to okay. facilitate uh, replacement of the TBA. And that cover expelled. All right, that's great work, Heidi. Keep the PGT out. We're going to have you remove covers 9 and 10, uh, and then we'll have you go work on the SLR. Okay. Thanks, Mark. I'll go one more time. Kick it a finger out. Okay. So view from Mission Specialist Heidi Stephanie and Piper's camera at the Quest Airlock, where you can see that Mission Specialist Steve Bowen has already made it back in. Back with a view inside the Quest Airlock, you can see here Mission Specialist Heidi Stephanie and Piper cleaning off her gloves. Earth, it has a thicker consistency, more like toothpaste, and it's fairly easy to clean off. Airlock's getting a bit crowded in there.